In this video, I'm going to be going through how to plot in MATLAB. So just for illustration, I'm going to be showing you uh, y equals x to start off with. So x is equal to 1 to 10. And then I'm going to say y is equal to x. OK, so, so just a simple thing. Um, now, as far as just plotting a basic thing goes, you can just go plot x comma y. And this will do the trick. But just so that you get into a habit, I'm going to make you do make you type figure in all the time you do a new plot. Okay, so figure plot x against y. And this will give you this. Okay, so a straight line x against y, fairly straightforward. Um, if you want to add a title in, you can do title uh, y versus x. And then the x label, actually I, I can write comma in here, x label is going to be x and then the y label is y okay so those are the, those are the basic commands to do uh, this kind of thing so let's let's just go and go and check now I, I, I don't know if you can see but there is a y versus x a y and x over there uh there's a previous one okay Okay, um, now sometimes it's just not enough to just plot x against y, uh, y against x. What you want to do is plot two plots in the same uh, figure, okay? So in the same uh, plotting space. So I would say y, y2 is equal to 2 times x. Okay, so y2 is 2 times x. And now I want to plot, uh, I want to plot this on top of each other and see what happens. Now, if I write figure, and then do plot x uh, against y2, it will give me in a new window, um, an, in a new window that, that figure. So what I want to do instead is I'm going to hold on, so hold on to the same plotting space, and then I'm going to say plot x against y2. Okay, so it holds on to the same plotting space, and uh, plus this, so, and then go hold off. It just, just as a good habit, you should write a hold up now if I had a third one I would have been writing plot x versus y3 everything basically just before this last hold off operation okay but obviously I don't have a y3 over here now it's a really bad idea to plot two things in the same color so if you're on different color um, and by, remember by default MATLAB plots in blue just do this so R stands for red uh, y stands for yellow, uh, M stands for magenta, so you can guess a few of them, but uh, black, it's not B, uh, B is for blue, uh, K stands for black, all right, so anyway, you can, you can look that up um, on the internet, so hold, hold off, and then press enter, and let's look at the figure again, so there you go, so it's plotted the same thing uh, on the same axis. Now, you want to be able to, uh, someone should be able to look at this thing, go, and th that's why, 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 against 2x and that's y equals x so that's why we need legends okay so the first one I'm going to say y versus x now you can leave it like this okay but I'd, I'd really rather you not so uh, because it'll just it'll just label the first one as y versus x the second one should go y versus 2x uh, sorry not y versus y equals 2x Sorry about my mistake. Okay, so uh, now if I press enter, sorry, legend. Yes, I didn't mean legends. It should have been legend. Uh, MATLAB is good with suggesting things like that. Okay, so legend. Now I got the two legends y equals x, y equals 2x. Okay, um, now let's do something else. Now, now plot it on top of each other. Sometimes you want to compare it side by side instead of on top of each other. So in order to do something like that, uh, let's do let's do uh, again y y equals x and y equals two x side by side instead. So I'm going to go figure, but this time I'm going to divide up the plotting space. So subplot into a one row two. Okay, so there's going to be two spaces, uh, one row by two columns wide. Okay, so and then the first one, you'll see what I mean by when I when I when I do this in a bit. I'm going to go plot uh, x against y. So the first argument is always x. The second argument is the y value. Okay, so let's let's do this one. And notice how I said figure over here. So it's actually going to open up a new figure window. Okay, so over here it says figure. 
So it's going to open up a new figure window and, and now it's going to plot x against y. All right, so there you go. So see, see how it goes, it's one row and there's two columns and now it says figure, okay? So it's a new window. So just one, first one, one, two, one, okay? So uh, let's just get, get some space. Okay, now I'm gonna go subplot, one, two, two, and then go plot x against y2. Okay, so now you have this thing. I probably should have done that in red. In fact, I'll go back and go plot x, y2 in red. But this time, we're going to do dash lines just to make, make it a bit more fun. And to do that, you just do dash. If, if you want, you can make it a star. You can make it a dot. Uh, there's some other things you can do, but I can't quite remember. But let's leave it as a red, red dash line for now. Okay, so now if I go back to my figure. Oh, dash was a very bad idea. Uh, let me just change it to R star. There you go. Okay, so um, start lines. Uh, is, is that this thing? Um, okay, now I didn't actually have to write subplot one two two. It would have been. I think it would have been just all written that. Let's do. Let's try and do title. So if I do title, y is equal to y is equal to to something y against x okay so you'll find out that it's this actually going to do it only on the second subplot because we are still in the second subplot we haven't said go back to the first one okay so I'm going to change this to y was y equals 2x okay and now now is y equals 2x if I want to go back to the first one I have to do subplot 1 comma 2 comma 1 now actually uh, MATLAB, MATLAB's evolved in a sense that you don't have to write the commas anymore. In the previous versions you, you would have had to, but subplot one two one would have uh, worked perfectly. So now if I go title y is equal to x, so remember it has to be in a process space because this is a string, title y equals x, you will end up getting it in the first one. Okay, so you can add the x labels and y labels in the same manner. Uh, that's all for this tutorial. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.